As a final note, Mr. Chairman, I would like to thank the many Americans from all walks of life who have reached out with messages of support over the course of my nomination. I believe in the power of prayer, and it has been uplifting to hear that so many people are praying for me. Welcome back to Bible Bears, everyone. I'm Ryder Cullison. Okay, so that was Judge Amy Coney Barrett at yesterday's Senate Judiciary Committee meeting. Opening statements were read, and Amy Coney Barrett had an opportunity to speak at the end, whereby she says, and Amy Coney Barrett's uh, a Christian, she's Catholic, she says, I believe in prayer. I want to thank everybody who has been praying for me. And then here comes the avalanche of negative spewing hatred all over Twitter. I watched a clip of this on YouTube as well. The comment section was filled with just anger and visceral negativity. Why? Well, because she's a Christian. Nobody really attacks her on her, let's say, her credibility or her qualifications as a judge. Right now, it's all about her Christian faith. And, for instance, this morning someone was saying she's a religious extremist. These are just buzzwords that get thrown out. Like, years ago, Web 2.0, I'm in the cloud. You're a religious extremist. You're a white supremacist. How is she a religious extremist? She believes in saving a baby's life. She's pro-life. And that's what everyone's attacking her for right now. That and they fear that somehow her placement on a court will undermine Obamacare. That's yet to be seen. We don't know. But she is pro-life. There's nothing wrong with being pro-life. Listen to what I'm saying. Pro-life. Pro-life. When has been for life wrong? But let's push that aside. Some of the comments were, after she said, I believe in prayer, they said, I believe you should go home. Or, I believe in the flying spaghetti monster. Insinuating that God isn't real. That believing in the flying spaghetti monster is as realistic as believing in an almighty, all-powerful God that created the universe. Which, obviously, I believe in. Amy Coney Barrett believes in. Tens and tens of millions of Christians around the world believe in God. Even Muslims believe in God. Jews, obviously, believe in God. Most of the world's population believes in a higher power. But... Amy Coney Barrett believes in God, therefore, she's a wackadoodle religious extremist. Some people have, have thrown out these uh, Handmaid Tale insinuations, uh, a book by, I believe it was Margaret Atwood. There's a popular television series on Amazon right now. I don't really quite get the Handmaid Tale reference, but there were some women outside the court building or outside the, the building where the hearing was being uh, taking place in Handmaid Tale costumes which is just is a little bit ridiculous. Uh, other people said, listen, RBG's dying wish was that the nobody would fill her vacancy until after the election. So Amy Coney Barrett needs to have the integrity to honor RBG's dying wish and just withdraw from these proceedings and just wait until after the election. Listen, all these people who are sitting at home on their couches, doing nothing, aspiring to do nothing, are preaching to Amy Coney Barrett about integrity and about not pursuing her dream. Some kids want to grow up and want to go out in space. They want to be fighter pilots. Some want to be actors or artists or musicians, doctors, nurses. Some want to work in a bank. Do they want to be a teller their whole lives? No, one day they want to be a bank manager. And then, you know what, they don't want to stop at bank manager. They want to move up the corporate ladder. Maybe run, be a regional manager over banks. And then be a vice president in the banking industry. Maybe one day they get to be president of the bank. If one day the opportunity to be president of the bank came to fruition, 
they were able to realize their dreams and people said, no, you're just being selfish. Shame on you. Especially if that person were a woman and were constantly talking about the glass ceiling that women can't break through. Now, here we go. We have Amy Coney Barrett, a woman who has been a lawyer or a law professor her whole life. The American Bar Association just gave her their highest rating for credibility. She's qualified. She's married. She has five kids. She's also adopted two other children from Haiti. She has seven children in all. She's a working mom. She has this opportunity to go even higher, to be on the highest court in the land. And somehow she's a despicable person for trying to realize her dream. This, she's not a symbol for women everywhere to continue striving to achieve their goals. Nope. She's just a religious nut. If you saw my other video with Bill Maher called her, you know, I won't repeat it here, but he called her profanity nut. Why? Because she's Catholic. Because she believes in prayer. Because she believes that if you bend the knee to God and you believe in something bigger than you, that God can come help you. And so everyone's piling on her, saying all sorts of negative things. Now the right is saying, look, the Dems are going to go after her for her faith because they have nothing else to go after her for. I haven't quite seen that from actual Democratic lawmakers or politicians or leaders. So far, all I've seen is they've gone after her pro-life stance. Boo-hoo. Okay, so she isn't for abortion get over it. It's the American public that has gone after her for her faith, which is trifling and sad. Listen, guys, this is what I would like for us to do is pray for Amy Coney Barrett this week during the confirmation hearings. I don't know what's going to happen. She seems to be a class act. I haven't heard any stories of her sexually assaulting anybody at any parties using any racial slurs, all the, only, the biggest fault against her is she believes in God. She believes in God. Big deal. So this week, let's all pray for her in the car, in the shower, while you're going to bed at night, just pray that she has the strength. We can put a godly person on the court who believes in morals, values, ethics, and protecting life. What do you guys think? Is she some nut? Is she a religious extremist? Is she just a despicable person for believing in the power of prayer? I'd like your comments below. Pro or con, just put them out there. Thank you guys for watching. As always, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. I love you. Have a blessed week.